Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important Java interview questions: difference between class not found exception and no class definition found error. Both of these occur when the class is not found at runtime and they are related to class part. Now, let us understand each of them with an example. So, class not found exception. This exception is thrown when an application tries to load in a class at runtime. Using you know class class dot for name so let me put it here class dot for name or load class load class method or find system class method so when we use these methods so there is a chance that we will get this class not from exception right. Basically, load class and spine system class are the methods from class loader class. So, uh, this class not found exception occurs when the class specified with the name is not found in the class part. So, for example, you may have come across this exception when you try to connect to MySQL or Oracle databases and you have not updated the class path with required jar files, right? So, you can see here an example, right? So I have specified the Oracle, uh, Oracle class name here, right? But uh, intentionally, I have not updated the class path with the required jar file. So now, if you if we actually run this program, right? So we, as the you know jar file is not updated with the class path, so this class will be not found, and we should be getting a class not found exception. Here it is. You can see it, right? Clearly, it says class not found exception, and what's the class it's not able to find in the class path, right? So this is a checked exception and uh, we need to provide the explicit handling for that. So you can see here, I've just provided, uh, you know, handle that in the catch block and just uh, try printing its stack trace, right? So this is about class not found exception. And remember this exception also occurs when you have two class loaders and if a class loader tries to access a class that is loaded by another class loader in Java. So this is this might also be one of the cause uh, why you get this class not found exception, right? So this is all about this exception. Now let us understand what no class definition form error is, right? So this occurs when the class was present during compile time and the program was compiled and also linked successfully, but the class was not present during runtime. So in such cases, we get this no class definition form error. So it's an error derived from linkage error actually. So linkage error occurs when a class has some dependencies on another class and the later class changes after the compilation of the former class. So let us understand with an example. So that will be clear. So you can see here, I have a class test A, right? So I also have a second class called test B in that I'm actually calling up the method of class test A, right? So simple program. Now, so what we are going to do is we are going to compile this program so and link these two classes first so for that i'm going to do compile these classes in command prompt so for that hit alt f12 so that you get the command prompt here itself in within within the ide right now i wanted to compile the program right this test b class file right so for that i will navigate to the actual path and you can see here these are the files available and we can see so this is a simple uh, file right so which has two classes test a and test b right so test b has the main method which has a you know code to call the method in present in test a right and you can see test b dot java here so this file has the two classes now i wanted to compile this File right Java C test B dot Java right compile successfully and we should be getting two class files. So let's verify. So you can see here clearly test A dot class test B dot class as this file test B uh, file has two classes in it. So we got like two classes has been generated test A and test B right now we wanted to run this. So first let us run as is, then we'll actually remove uh, test A and then we'll run it, right? So if you run it as is here, like this, 
test b you will actually get could not find our load main class test b so we need to actually run it from the root uh, root of this project so you should actually run it from here now java and we need to specify the class path minus cp we need to specify the class path where the classes are you know stored or where the classes are present right so tricky stores um i'm specifying the class path here where my class files are present and we need to specify the fully class uh, fully qualified class name here so this is the package in which my test b is present and you can see the output here in method a of test a class so this is what the, is expected right so it is actually calling method a and it is within method a we have this statement right so we can clearly see this statement has been displayed right all right now what we are going to do is so it has two classes and these two have been linked now right so what we are going to do here is we are going to delete this class test a dot class here so let's do that delete I'm going to delete test a dot class. This part not found. Okay. SRC found tricky. Oh, it has interviewed, right? So now it has to be deleted. Test a dot class. So it's deleted. Now we don't have test a dot class we only have test b dot class now what we are going to do is we are going to run again the same statement which we ran earlier right this one java provide class path where the classes are present and we are trying to execute test b so you can clearly see now it says no class definition form error because it doesn't find the test a so on which like test b is actually depending right so that's the reason we got no class definition form error and it also says the cause for it so it didn't find the test a class so that it is also been given here so in such type of situations like we actually get no class definition form error so we when um, we compile the file was present but when we are running right so during the runtime the class definition was not found right so in such type of uh, situation, we actually get this error. Now coming to the differences so between these two, like class not found exception and uh, you know, this uh, no class definition found error, right? So we can clearly see here, right? So this is one of them is actually exception. Class not found is exception and no class definition found is actually error, right? And the main difference is again, like a class not found exception. So it occurs when the class path is not operated with the required jar files. And no class definition found error occurs when the you know, uh, class definition is not found during runtime. So these are the main differences. So in this video, we actually saw what a class not found exception is and what no class definition found error is with an example, right? And finally, we understood what, what is the main differences between these two. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.